Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the program, Macers, fam around the world, what do we have today? Now typically I try to stray away from controversial topics, darker subject matter, and political treatises, but here we have a song by Omid Tutian, it translates roughly, the English translation and the title of this I believe is The Age of Unconsciousness. One of you have been asking me to react to this for a number of weeks. And when you were telling me about it, um, I was apprehensive because it's a subject and a topic that I'm not, uh, I'm definitely not knowledgeable, knowledgeable enough, I would say, to, to really make a meaningful and worthwhile interpretation and insight on it but Omid Tutian uh, I believe he's a political refugee he, he cannot go back to Iran uh, I, I think I read that he is stuck in sort of limbo he was in Turkey but then he went to uh, Cyprus and now he, he's stuck in a sort of middle zone in, in Cyprus and unable to leave there he's unable to go back to Turkey as they might send them back, you know, the, uh, Turkey might send them back to Iran. Let's have a watch. Uh, there is English subtitles included. We have some pretty, you know, interesting and challenging art, even just by this first piece here, this sort of uh, effigy. Effigy? Um, but we have these, these crows sort of picking at the brain of, of this person in a tomb oh man all right this will be tough as always everybody thanks for joining the channel thanks for checking out this video it's always a pleasure to see your guys's expertise your insights your information and your knowledge in the comments keep the comments uh respectful and, and polite disagreement is fine but uh hatefulness no Let's have a listen. So yeah, some of these art pieces, I'm not sure where they compiled these images, but they're nothing if not interesting uh, and rather disturbing. So there's a lot of images here conjuring up uh, a basic premise and what I would think to be a criticism of mass media, mass telecommunication and communications. You have a gentleman sitting here, he's watching the television and basically his brain is being uh, invaded. His brain is being manipulated. You see what looks like a bottle of alcohol on the floor. So he's also numbing his mind and really allowing himself to be misled, allowing himself to be manipulated by this programming. He's, he's being programmed essentially by these, these powers that be. And you see the children. So a similar premise here, don't think. The children are watching the television and they're being programmed um, slyly. Uh, Newspaper, books. Auf taube Kamera mag, ekte daure sau ja hau, aber hau je tiere vom riese schüsse taure hau, hau je hu je job de schau, jure schütze lauf hau, asre wie scho uri hau, mantere o lauf hau. The Age of Ignorance, Logic of Donkeys. And I mean, there is no doubt in this new hyper inform hyper information age where people are constantly facing a barrage of too much information their attention spans are waning i like to think of myself as having a good attention span but 
there's so much information that you have to choose and pick and choose different things to dissect with your mind. And, you know, cell phones, computers, a lot of this technology is designed, of course, through notifications and, and different algorithms to keep you engaged on those platforms for as long as possible, or at least uh, giving your attention for the longest number of minutes that they can and really keeping your mind addicted. It's really, yeah, that's the goal of a lot of these software programming. Uh, the software programming basically sets out to keep you engaged because they're businesses and they're trying to make money and the circle goes around. So I, I can draw some comparisons here to Shaheen Najafi, I think, for his criticism of certain uh, geopolitical institutions and, and things like that. It's definitely food for thought. It, it, it's dark, though, and challenging piece of art. این حسرت و عذاب و درد و رنج و آن قلب های آهنین انفجار عبده ها زندگی شیک خاهنین و سرس برده ها قتل های مستمر و دولت بی اختیار سیر جانین فروه رو فری و بختیار زنده زنده سوختن آخرین سکانس رکس باز جوی ترانه با شکنجه های سکس سینما های عرض بر مدار لودگی فیلم های پوچ و مبتزل رواج هر زگی مطربان خود فروش دست بوس هر رهی خوش صدا و خوش عدا و خوش لباس و پاس لیز برزش سیاسی و سیاستی پر از درو زنده با مرده با متصل ستای بو چنگ های زرگری خوب که سبز یا بناش رای گیری احتکار و اختلاس و پول شوهی عجیب ایش چشم خلق خفته با ظاهری نجیب ریشه های اختلاف مذهب و زبان و غم خنده های روس و انگلیس نقشه های شون انقلاب مخملی و انقلابی ملوز شادی یواشکی خنده بانه های لوس جاهلیت مدرن بردگی به سبکن و دکترین هایدگر مارکس نیچه یا اوشو موسم زبان اقل و حکم رانی جنون عصر بی شعوری و شرار های خشم و خون دوره افول عشق و انزبا و انحطاط انقلاب صنعتی ازدواج با روبات شام آخر جهان با شراب نیتروژن کیک زرد هستهی و بارچ های هیدروژن همگراوی و ففا در مسیر قهقراو یک سقوط ناگزیر از فراب باورا یک 
شنید او در دلم باز می دهد نوی نام تو چه بود ما ما با اشنا امید یک صدا در سرم پیچ دو دهد نوی نام من چه بود امید 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 Kind of jarring a little bit that he mentioned himself at the end. Wow. Uh, so it's very far reaching and it covers a lot of topics. But I think, uh, you know, some of the messaging there is about veils, veils being sort of pulled over the eyes and, and covering up some of the roughness, the jagged edges underneath. Kind of giving the appearance of a smooth and peaceful um, thing and, and also mass manipulation but you know a lot of these issues it's difficult very difficult to sort of parse through and understand the reasons for a lot of these forces that are seemingly because it's not forces being driven by one singular person certainly they're being driven by uh very powerful groups of people very powerful nations very powerful political and elitist circles of people right uh and they're things that sadly like the individual um, so you, yourself, watching wherever you are, wherever you are on the planet, there's a very, very, you know, you're essentially helpless, right? Me, I'm, I'm just a, a, a guy from Canada, from West Coast. And when it comes to these far-reaching and, and really, really... Yeah, like we're 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 at bay. Like we're at the beh we're stuck, right? Like and that's the question, the the tough question. Like what can we do? And all of these things are so like difficult to evaluate and understand the forces at play. So, anyways, it's nothing if not interesting. Uh, you know, some of the political messaging there. There's mentioning Nietzsche and, uh, you know, Karl Marx. Talking about communism, capitalism. Uh, there was mentions of, of China. There was mentions of Russia, the hammer and the sickle. There was mention, mentions of basically people that are complicit in in whatever the criticism is aimed at. So people that are complicit. He talked about being very, very well dressed and basically called called a group, uh, you know, bowl lickers. And I don't know who specifically he's referring to, but man, yeah. It's obviously sort of controversial piece, provocative. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. You guys, um, yeah, let me know. We'll see you soon. Peace out, my friends.